Looks nice, right? So today we'll be retrofitting headlights. So obviously you need the headlight, the projector, the shroud, and the shroud adapter. Tools you'll need, screwdrivers, gloves, more gloves. So let's go. So we're gonna start with this one. This one is a broken one. I'm gonna take this one apart and salvage the projector lens out of this kit to put in the new headlights that you saw in the other shot. So for 200 and wait for it to preheat. Put your headlight on a new tray and make sure that none of it touches the actual oven. And you'll set a timer for nine minutes. For the new headlight, you're gonna want to remove this screw right here and take out this piece that basically holds in your bolt. You won't be needing that anymore since you're doing a retrofit. It's very simple, it's just a Phillips set. So now that it's come out the oven after roughly eight to 10 minutes, this just separates. Make sure you hit each of these clips. During this time, the plastic's pretty soft, so it makes it a lot easier. So this one was baked at roughly seven minutes. I was a little bit more impatient with this one just cause this one was the messed up one. Just trying to salvage this out along with the projector that's in there. So the way that this headlight projector is installed, there's a rubber gasket that's on there. I'll show you with the other one. This clear rubber actually sits against the bowl of the reflector housing and then that gets put on with this small plate right here that I'm moving around that's to align it and then once you what the, once you get that aligned you have this ring that comes in from the back of the bowl and that sandwiches the whole projector into its position it's very simple very easy design and it makes structure fitting a lot easier so I'm gonna go ahead and peel this protective saran wrap off my new headlight. In the oven it goes. So what you'll do with this shroud is you'll have the adapter uh, round side uh, down and then this side up and you just put them together first before you put it onto the actual projector. Usually I find that this is already very secure but if you want to go ahead and dab a bit of super glue to hold these two together, um, it should be fine. I haven't really had them had this part of the system fall apart, but I have had the adapter piece slide away from the actual projector itself, which is why I'm going to use window silicone add as an extra layer of adhesive just to keep just because the friction um, fit isn't really the best. All right, so we're back with the new headlight. Um, I'm hoping we got it warm enough. If not, we can always stick it back in there. accomplished so the way I would attack this is I would well let me show you on the clip side 
So this is the driver's side headlight. I'll start on this end, move this first clip, and then move this one. And then you start prying a little bit. After you start winning in that, you'll move on to this clip, and then this clip, and then at that point, you can start separating it from the top and ripping it away and the clips in the bottom should unclip themselves. Uh, it's very tedious, but this is easier than using the heat gun because using a heat gun, you would have to apply so much heat to where it's much, it's much easier when you can get everything heated up at one time versus trying to um, heat one area and then keep moving around. I'm going to take off this reflector and I'm going to turn it chrome because it's just a, a nice touch I'm going to do. Now the annoying part about this retrofit system is that you have to remove this piece and you can just, um, I guess you could cut this piece off or you could probably try to snap it off, but I'm afraid of ruining the reflector bowl. So instead you have to go through and crank the adjuster the adjustment bolts all the way until you can reach the screw that's hidden away or I mean conversely I guess you could drill a hole here and then you'd have access to the uh, Phillips head that is inside there and you wouldn't have to do this but I don't want any sort of weird leaks or anything for my headlights, so I'm going to go through and do this. I will rotate this out so you can see it is that little flat head right there, or that little Phillips head right here. Oh man, don't hurt me. Drop that through, and then everything can go back. And for the projector, be mindful that um, the up direction is where this cutout is right here. This is what helps you align it to the headlight. You'll stick the high beam signal wires through here. Be sure to feed your high beam wire through this opening created from not having that reflector. And here is where the magic happens. We'll drop this alignment bracket in, give it a healthy tap, and then throw on this little donut of sorts. Push that down. After that is done, throw this ring on. Sounds pretty loose. Maybe I should have installed it with the bolt uninstalled. I'm gonna try that with the next one. I lied. So I just took the bolt off and I'm going to be tightening it, installing it this way, and then reinstalling it after I fully tightened it because that housing is just too much in the way. You can't really get a decent grip on it. Whereas right now I can get a pretty tight grip. All right, shroud time. So I am using GE all purpose clear silicone. So I don't have a caulking gun, so I'm just going to do two poke. To get it out of the container, I have used a extension followed by a bit and then push down don't embarrass me okay you won't be needing that much I'm just gonna use a dollop and I am going to apply it on the adapter ring all right so I've made a thin film and now I'm going to install it
that is with it installed. And now it's time to slap it back together. Oh. So I've changed the orange reflector to chrome. As you can see, more CTR light. -like. And I made sure to clean it with Windex afterwards. You don't want fingerprints on chrome vinyl because when you bake it, um, it kind of burns the oils that leave your finger and turn it into just this gross color. So you'll roughly align this back the way I think it is. Just kind of mush, mush things here and there. You're not gonna try to fit it in on the first go. So this is just to heat it up. And then once it's heated, once it's warm enough, um, you're gonna do the same thing. You pull it out, um, make sure all the clips are on. So this is too brittle for me to put the clips on because it'll basically snap. So I'm gonna put it back in the oven for 10 minutes. And there you have it, a retrofitted headlight. And I'm gonna let this sit overnight for the silicone on the projector shroud to here. And also just to let the butyl here. Um, optionally, you can buy butyl uh, strips and fill in around the headlight um, before you bake it just to ensure a seal but I've done this before and usually if you don't open up the headlight too many times you can just uh, use what's there and it's not too big of a deal. Before I put this on the car I'm gonna definitely seal it. I don't want these plastic lens covers to get foggy. Boop! Yeah! Oh yeah. Oh. Looks nice, right? So, quick joke. I actually took off the front bumper and the old ones are in here. So, there they are.